let's go over that then. Are you ready to go on this one? Yeah. All right, so 360 is 12% of what number? So, um, there's lots of different ways of doing this. Um, I'm just going to do the, the way I the way I do it, teach it I get. One of the ways I do it is um, we turn this e sentence into an equation, right? So we can go 360, and then in place of is, we can write equals, right? And then for 12%, I want you all to turn that into a decimal. Now, remember that 12% is 12 over 100, right? It's 12%. Cent is like Latin for 100. So it's 12 out of 100. So it's 12 hundredths or 12 cents. So it's a decimal that's 0 0.12. Are we okay with that? Yes. We've turned that to a decimal, 0 0.12. And then we you, we do of. What what does of mean in math? Or what what's the in math? Of is actually multiply. Isn't that weird? A little bit. Of means multiply. Um, let me try to explain that slightly. If you if I said I've got um, five of those $100 bills, what would that be? What's five of those $100 bills? Wouldn't that be, it would be five, just $500, right? So, that's all right. No problem. So, so it's kind of like going five times 100. Or if you said I want uh, 13 of those apples, here's an apple, 13 of those apples, right? That's like 13 times an apple, right? Yes. That makes sense? All right. All right. Or um, I want three of those um, $20 bills, right? That will be like three times a $20 bill. Right, be sixty dollars. Right, that makes sense. So, so of means multiply, and that's the weird thing about that's one of the weird things about math, but or, or it's actually English really. But of means multiply. Uh, so, and what number then we convert that? What number? is the unknown number. And for an unknown number in algebra, we usually use a letter. And you can use any letter you want. I'm just going to use X because we use X a lot. And you're familiar with it. But you could use any letter. You could use A, B, C, D, E. It doesn't matter, right? Okay. So the sentence becomes 360 equals 0 0.12 times X. Okay? All right. One sec here. Are we allowed to use calculators for, the, for this part? Um, it would uh, be best not to if possible. Yeah. Best to do as much of this without a calculator as possible. So we have basically, I'll write it a different way. Um, another way to write is 0 0.12 times x equals 360, right? And that's an equation. We've got to solve for x. We've got to find the missing number, the what number, right? So we divide by 0 0.12 on both sides, right? Um, let's see. And so basically, it's x equals 360 over 0 0.12, right? So we've got to divide a decimal, 0 0.12 into 360, right? Now, to divide decimals, you've got to get rid of the decimal point in the denominator. So you move that in, in, 
which is the divisor. Or So you move that two spaces to the right. If you do that, you must move the decimal point of 360, which is 360, is just 360.00, right? And you move that one, two spaces to the right also, okay? So you have the number 12 into 36000. That's a trick, but there, there's a reason behind that. It's because... If you take 360 over 0 0.12, and just for fun, you multiply that by 100 over 100, right? What you're going to get is, uh, what's 360 times 100? Well, that's 3,006, uh, 3,600. Well, it's actually 36,000. So you add two zeros on, right? 36,000 over, and then 12 cents times 100 becomes twelve dollars, doesn't it? Twelve cents times a hundred would be twelve dollars, right? The decimal point gets moved over one two spots. So that's what we just did. We we took three hundred and sixty over zero point one two and we turned it into an equivalent fraction of thirty six thousand over twelve. Right? It's the same it's gotta be the same answer, it just looks different. But we multiplied it by a hundred over a hundred. That's what happened when we moved the decimal point two spots to the right here and here, right? So in any case, it's 12 into 36,000. So what's 12 into 36? Three, lovely. And 12 into zero is zero, 12 into zero is zero, 12 into zero is zero, right? Mm -hmm. Or you could, you, could have, you could have written it this way, 36,000 over 12 is just 3,000. So the question was, 360 is 12% of what number? And we, in place of what number, we put x. We set up this equation. We solved it. We divided by a decimal. Lots to learn in this question. And we found x is 3,000. Now, let's check that. 12% of what number? 360 is 12% of what number? So in other words, if we get 12%, of 3,000, that should be equal to what? 360. 3, good, yeah. So 12% of 3,000, how do we get that? Um, we multiply the 12% by the 3,000. Good, multiply that by 12, so, so in other words, 0 0.12 times 3,000, right? Or 0 0.12 times 3,000, okay? So let's do that. 2 times 0, 0, 2 times 0, 0, 2 times 0, 0, 2 times 3, 6. And now I've got to put down a 0 placeholder and multiply it by 1. 1 times 0 is 0. One <coughs> 0, 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 3 is 3. And then I add. And you count the number of decimal places in the multiplication, oh sorry, I forgot to add, sorry, three, six, zero, zero, zero. Then you count the number of places in that multiplication, there's one, two of them, and that's the number of decimal places that should be in the, in, in the answer. So the decimal point should be here. So our answer is 360.00, which is just 360. Does that make sense? So that's a big question, because we reviewed Look, we set up an equation from a sentence. Big deal. Of means multiply. We then divided by decimals. We reviewed that from our, our written day, right? And then we check by multiplying by decimals. A lot in that question. So, and it all worked out in the end. So, good one. Good. Okay.